the Real Housewives of New York reunion might be delayed until September. And there are a lot of cast shakeup news coming out from the franchise. Not only that, Camille Grammer is taking shots at Erica Jane and her fake tears. Not only that, Mary Cosby from the Real, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City is back in the news and she's calling Heather Gay a Karen. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as we've been reporting, the Real Housewives of New York experienced their lowest ratings ever in the history of the show. Well, now we're hearing that according to page six, they're about to push back the Real Housewives of New York reunion until September. They were supposed to film in August. As always, we will be citing our sources. This is what they're saying. Sonia Morgan, Leah McSweeney, Ramona Singer, Ebony K. Williams, and Luann Deliceps were set to film season 13 reunion on August 5th. But we're told that the taping is on hold until at least September amid a decline in rating. And this is according to a source that has confirmed this to page six. According to the Daily Mail, all hell is breaking loose behind the scenes. While the Real Housewives of New York typically films in the fall and winter months, a source has told the Daily Mail that the women were told that they would not begin filming until early 2022. It's not known on why Bravo or the production Shed Media would like to push back production, but it could be because they're trying to find housewives. They're trying to shake up the cast. That's the rumor on the street that not only in the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but the Real Housewives of New York, they're trying to find the right mix of women, especially because the conversations in this season have seemed to allegedly turn off viewers. But of course, Ebony K. Williams came out and said, don't blame her for the, the low ratings. But now Ebony is speaking out in the comment section, and this is why I love Ebony, because Ebony is definitely involved on social media. Let's take a look at what Ebony said in Reality Blurb's comment section. This is what she says. She says, all lies. Every single headline here is a complete untruth. Stay blessed and have a blessed weekend. And one of the things that she's addressing here is not just that she's th to blame for, for the, the drop in ratings on The Real Housewives of New York, but also this story is where they're saying that producers are upset with her that, that she's blaming them. According to Ebony, she's saying that that's not true. There are a lot of reasons probably why there's probably a drop in ratings at The Real Housewives of New York. There are no housewives on that show. There's not one single housewife. Yes, they were married before, but you know, we've heard rumors this week that Ramona wasn't coming back. And now we're hearing a counter report that she is coming back, but there is going to be a Real Housewives of New York shakeup. Either way, it's one of my favorite. It is my favorite of the entire franchise and I need them to save it. And you already know what I, how I feel about Leah McSweeney. She can go, she can go. <laughs> this is a Housewives mashup. There's a lot of Housewives news. If you missed it, just last night, we did a whole live talking about Portia Williams and some Real Housewives of Atlanta tea, casting tea. Be sure to check that out. I'll post a link in the description of this video. Camille Grammer, you know, a former housewife of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, is speaking out in regards to Erica Girardi. So this is what she's saying. And you know what? Let me share my screen. So, so this is Erica. Uh, this, of course, this is Erica's, you know, tears. <laughs> Camille posted this on her social media. We filmed in the Bahamas season nine and we were all swimming in the water. I don't remember seeing EJ's mascara running after swimming underwater. Just saying. See, and this is exactly why we need this woman back on the show. There are mixed feelings about Camille Grammer, but one thing I do know, and based on what we've been hearing, is that Bravo does listen to our, our videos. And when I say our videos, I mean everyone that reports on these housewife shows. And when you guys call into my platform and talk about it, they're listening. We need Camille. Camille has always been this particular person that has always cause trouble. And I just don't understand why they won't bring her back. Maybe because the other housewives won't film with her. Lisa Renna was in the comment section of this post on comments by Bravo. And she pretty much, she doesn't like Camille. She doesn't like Camille. And I get it. She, I get it. But Lisa, the fans don't really love you. I think Lisa's great for the show, but at the same time, not that great. What's your storyline, Lisa?
We need to bring Camille Grammer back on the show. I would love to see her interaction with the ladies today. I know she's still friends with uh, some of the ladies as well. But maybe some of these ladies don't want her on the show because she might be a little messy. But we love messy. Hey. But speaking of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, my girl Garcelle. And look, I am a straight shooter. Pow, 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 pow. Garcelle doesn't have much of a storyline, but she has a lot when it comes to her confessionals, how she interacts with these women. Garcelle is a great housewife to the entire franchise. She's great. You may have recalled that we did a report on Dorit Kemsley calling her inauthentic, that she's not being real this season. Well, it was Dorit's birthday, and in true housewife form and in true trolling form, Garcelle wished her a happy birthday. And you may recall Garcelle named her her fishes after Kyle and Dorit. Rest in peace to the Kyle fish. But this is what she posted. Oh, Garcelle. Garcelle posted this on her social media. Happy birthday, Dorit Kemsley, from your inauthentic friend, crying emoji. Hope your day is as fabulous as you are. Dorit responded by saying, I'll take it. Wink, fish, kiss. Oh, Dorit doesn't. Look, Dorit can't take it. She just knows that that's what she should be doing. I can't wait to see why Dorit and Garcelle are having beef. But maybe this is Dorit's attempt at having a storyline this season. Maybe. Maybe. But in some other housewife news, Mary Cosby of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City is taking shots at Heather Gay. As you may recall, the season of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City looks like it's going to be all about another alleged criminal, Jen Shaw. We shall see how that will play out this season. But apparently the other ladies are looking for some attention. Mary Cosby took to her social media to address Heather Gay. Of all people, I did not expect Heather Gay to be the focus of Mary Cosby. Mary Cosby is a bag of crazy. Look. Oh, wait, you know, I don't call her a bag of crazy. I call her a bag of weird. That's better. That's better. I don't I don't need a Sutton situation. She, she's definitely a bag of weird. And we didn't get a lot of her last season, but it looks like we're going to get a lot of her this season. So she took to her social media yesterday and she posted this photo. She says, if you want to know why I blocked Heather Gay is because Heather Gay is a racist. She admitted and owned it, and she knows it. Let's speak truth. So when I posted this on my, my, my TikTok, a lot of you were saying, she's one to talk. You remember the 7-Eleven comment that was brought up by Jen Shaw, how she says when she sees a group of black people, she doesn't go inside to the 7-Eleven? And how uh, her grandfather husband is not black? Okay. No, no confirmation on what she's talking about in regards to to Heather, but she did in the hashtags call Heather a Karen. But to call someone racist is a huge deal. I wonder if we will see this play out during the show, because as you know, the show has, you know, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City has stopped filming. But as we saw in the reunion, things may have happened that we don't know. And then there's this beef that we didn't realize we were going to get. And they haven't filmed the reunion for Salt Lake City just yet. I want to see what happens. Heather was a fan favorite last season. <sighs> you know, second seasons aren't the best for, for some of these new shows and new housewives. We shall see and we will be watching. What do you think Mary Cosby was alluding to? Are you looking forward to a cash shakeup in the Real Housewives of New York? And do you want Camille Grammer back on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Let's continue the conversation in the comments section. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.